Stay tuned for a giveaway. In today's video, fellow YouTuber Claude CS and I raided every single M4A1S skin in CS2. We're planning on doing one of these for every weapon in the game, so leave a comment letting us know which weapon you'd like to see next. By the way, I'm giving away this Stat Track Factory new Ursus Knife Tiger Tooth when we hit 50,000 subscribers. So if you'd like to enter for a chance to win, check out the community post. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. Let's get into the tier list. People are always asking me what the best marketplace is to buy and sell their skins on. Look no further because the answer is today's sponsor, GamerPay. GamerPay is the best peer-to-peer -peer skin trading website out there, and to prove it to you, they're even offering you a free 5 euros on your first 50 euro transaction. One cool feature they have is, on top of showing the GamerPay listing price, they also display the cheapest buff listing price for the item you're looking at so you can see how much of a discount you're actually getting. They also have a 0% buying fee and only a small 3% selling fee. So if you're looking for better prices than buff and 5 euros for free, sign up with my link in the description today. Alright, what's good boys? We're back with another tier list today we're doing the m4a1s i'm here with claude you want to plug yourself and say what's good what's up guys it's claude here we filmed a couple videos together it's been a bit of a time but we're back and we're doing another list yes sir all right uh let's just get right into this thing first up what is this atomic alloy i think yep mad og skin back in the day like when i used to play like 2015 2016 i used to think this thing was sick because it was like one of the only orange guns in the game and i love orange and i yep. think you like orange too right yeah i think it looks pretty clean it's definitely one of an og skins i don't think nowadays it would be rated as high as it would have been back in the day just because there's so many other good skins out now i agree um starting it off i would probably just set this maybe high c tier low b tier to start it off yeah i agree i was thinking low b as well um she you want to just throw b for now and then just like push it yeah. down later yeah we can do that are we doing one uh veto again or what are yeah, we doing this yeah time? yeah it's good to, it's good that you brought that up i would have forgot honestly yeah one veto again each um probably smart for us to save it but we can use it whenever right yeah sounds good okay but... all right word next up basilisk this is another one that i used to think was like super sick because it was like one of very few skins where it was like engraved and like almost looked 3d but now i think it's like getting worse and worse as more skins come out yeah, I think it's getting pretty bad the more skins come out. However, I do like it for like if you're going for an all black theme loadout, mm -hmm. just because in that battle scarred condition, it looks pretty black in game and there's not a ton of M4A1Ss or guns in general that are all black. Yeah. Um, but overall, yeah, it's still not a great skin. I'd probably throw it like C tier. Damn. See, I, I also would probably agree with that but like looking at this i already think it's better than the atomic alloy low key it's just way cleaner i think only the battle scarred version i like better than that okay okay wait what what happens to it in battle scarred it gets dark yeah it just gets darker yeah. fits into a black themed inventory better word okay um what you want top of c i'm cool with that yeah top right. c word next up blood tiger i I'll tell you straight up, I'm not a fan of this at all. I think yeah, it's a pretty shit I. skin. Like, I don't know if I would quite throw it an F, but it's real close. Yeah, I think that's probably one of the worst M4A1Ss we got. Um, I think we're going to have a lot B, A, and S. So yeah. start off probably, yeah, I'd put this in D tier. Yeah, let's go D. I like that for it. All right, Blue Phosphor. I mean... You can't really hate on like solid colored skins, especially this blue. It's pretty much like an M4A1S sapphire, essentially. Yep. Um, yep. That being said, though, I think people like low key dick ride this way too much. They're, they're like doing tricks on it. They always like throw it top of S. I don't think it's top of S for me. I think it's like middle of A, middle of the pack A. Yeah, I was going to say it's probably an A tier for me as well. I don't think the price is worth it. Um, it's just plain blue skin it is super clean and shiny in cs2 but yeah i'd put it a tier yeah i agree all right uh what is this boreal forest i think yep bad skin i mean like i said i don't think it quite goes i mean maybe it does go f it's definitely below blood tiger for me what do you think i think that's an f tier right away yeah bad skin bro bad skin all right that one was easy um next up i think this is called the briefing, right? Yep. Yep. I, I I honestly get pleasantly surprised when I see people using this skin in game because I don't see it that much and it's kind of cool. Like the gray, blue, and red. Like it's not the best skin, don't get me wrong, but I, I think it's like 
I don't know. I think it. I think it might be like low B for me as well, up there with the atomic alloy. Yeah, I've shown it off in a couple videos, and a lot of people commented, you know, saying they've never even seen that skin before. Yeah. The only issue I have with that skin is even in factory new condition, it's still scratched up. Yeah, I don't like when skins are like that either. So because of that, I would probably put it under the basilisk and see. Damn. Okay. Okay. Maybe for this one, we meet in the middle and just go top of C then. All right, uh, Brightwater, I mean, wait, it is Brightwater, right? Or am I tripping? Yeah. Okay, Brightwater, yeah, Brightwater. is pretty much just like the water version of Boreal Forest, in my opinion. But I do think it's better because the blue is like brighter and it looks better uh, than the green yep. camo. But I don't know. I think it probably goes right above Blood Tiger for me. Yeah, that's exactly what I was going to say. I was going to say ab above that one. I think it looks right. pretty clean. It's not terrible, um, but it's a nice blue skin. For sure. I agree. I agree. That's a good spot for it. Okay, Chantico's Fire. This is also one you see occasionally. Um, like it's a decent skin, but for some reason, like the color combo of the yellow and the red does not really sit well with me. Like I like the design on it, but the color, I don't know. I don't love it that much. And I'm usually a big fan of bright. Uh, so I'd probably put it like B somewhere, but what about you? Yeah, I was going to say the exact same thing. Above what we have in B right now is probably where it would go. I remember when it came out, a lot of people liked it, but the colors just don't go that well together. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Like right here, right? Yep. Okay. Word. Next up is, is that the control panel? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Ever since I saw this thing, I thought it was like just a watered down version of the masterpiece. I know it's very different, but the color scheme is like super similar it's yeah. kind of cool it's grown on me a bit but i don't think it breaks into a and it's probably like middle middle of b maybe right above this actually yeah i don't think i would put it that high i'd probably throw it in c tier there's nothing good about that skin in my opinion yeah yeah i agree i think like the concept is cool and like the fact that it is like a bit engraved but that's really it those are the only redeeming qualities uh yeah. maybe we just go bottom of b then split uh i think we're gonna have a lot of b's and a's so i would probably put it c top of c top of c all right okay all right boys this week i'm giving away this field tested m4a4 dragon king to enter make sure to like this video subscribe to my channel and leave a comment letting me know what your favorite m4a1s skin is mine's probably the hyper beast also just make sure to have your steam trade link in your youtube bio so i can send you the skin when you win now let's get back to the tier list all right Next up is the Cyrex. Um, I like the color scheme on this one, and I, I used to be a bigger fan of it back in the day before there were like a lot of newer skins out. But now when I like pick this up, it's so underwhelming. I don't know why. Like, what do you think? Yeah, it's super clean. It has, you know, the basic colors, white, black, and red, which is always nice to have. Yeah. Um, I do like it on the USPS as well. Um, I personally still think it's a pretty clean skin. Um, I'd probably put it right in the middle of B of, with what we have right now. Yeah. See, I think I like it more than Chantico's, but I, I'm down to put it there. We, we can throw it up there if you think it's up there. We're only one space away anyways. Yeah, true. All right. Next up, Darkwater. Um, yep. Dude, like I know this is like a cool skin in terms of the fact that it's like super dark and it's rare to see like gray and black skins but it's just not good like it has a max wear of min wear i've never wanted to use this thing like i've had the opportunity to buy them before i just never do the only redeeming quality and i don't think we're using this to rank is the fact that you use it to trade up to ak case hardens yeah that that is a nice feature about it however yeah we aren't really basing it fully on that we're going overall of how it looks and price wise and every single thing that goes into it yeah so because of that i still i, I would probably put this in i don't know top of c tier yeah i think it i think it's worse than these two or these three i yeah. think it's i think it's here i think basilisk briefing and control panel are better better do you agree uh yeah yeah we can put it at the bottom all right word um next up decimator this thing i, I really like this thing uh as you know if you've seen any of these other tier list videos i'm a pretty big fan of like bright like pastel colors like the pinks blues purples and stuff like that and it has a pretty cool design on it personally i think this would probably go top top of b or bottom of a for me 
Yeah, I was going to say bottom of A. The colors pop in CS2. looks super clean. I don't think there's anything wrong with this. And the price on it isn't terrible compared to like some of these other ones that we have on here. For sure, yeah. It's I'd pretty probably, affordable. I'd probably put it A. Yeah, it's pretty affordable. Yeah. All right. Bottom A. I agree. All right. Next up, m 4 Um, I have mixed feelings on this thing. I, I thought it was like a cool concept when I first saw it, but I think it was pulled off pretty poorly. I don't think it looks good. It's like jurassic park vibes but the colors just don't look great in my opinion i would probably put it like top d or bottom of c see i was gonna say probably top of c i think it's a pretty nice skin especially for people with a lower budget that are starting off with cs2 skins yeah. this is definitely one of the good entry skins for the m4a1s and the colors do pop in cs2 so i'd say probably bottom of, of b or top of c damn okay i i cannot let it make it into b but i'm down to down to go here maybe well i would say bottom of c so let's just split it okay. all right hot take right after the amphorosaurus i would actually say i like the fizzy pop more and it's also a budget skin i, I know it like is kind of weird but it's sick like it it's pattern based and it has a bunch of random stuff going on on it I don't know it looks better it looks more appealing to the eye to me than the m4 asaurus so i would probably put this at the top of b myself i'm the opposite i think it's worse than that's, the one we just talked about so fair. we can put it pretty much maybe just above it then since you're thinking it's top of c and we'll just split the difference and go you know maybe one above the m4 or right there all right yeah okay i like that all right do we even have to talk about this one uh pretty yeah i think that's a good spot <laughs> i think this skin is terrible bro i know some people really like it but like I, I just don't see the appeal at all yeah i think it might be top of f okay yeah it might I be about the worst forest. i agree all right if it lets me okay i agree yeah i agree and i can see some pretty ugly ones coming up so yeah all right straight up the golden coil ever since it came out i have absolutely loved this thing the all black with the scales and the gold it, oh, it's just so clean i think this goes in s for me i think it is pretty clean i don't think it's an s tier skin i think we have a bunch of other ones that would be higher than it on my list i still think it's a nice skin though and it'd probably go somewhere in a tier i think bottom of a looking at our list right now damn okay okay i think this would go decently high into my s so maybe we like split top of a or something all right yeah we can go with that for now all right word okay guardian um this is another skin that i've just never been able to get into i've never been a fan of it it, I mean, it's cool that it's like, it was like the first all blue skin or one of the first all blue skins with just like the CT logo there or whatever it is, but it just, it's not nice to look at. Yeah. I think they have this on the USPS also. I used to use that back in the day. I've never used it on the M4A1S, but you know, it doesn't really stand out in CS2. Not a whole lot of color looks pretty dull. Yeah. So because of that, uh, probably top of D. Top of D. Yeah. I like that okay 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 hot rod hot rod so this is another one like the blue phosphor i think this thing would be so clean if the handle was also red and like the grips similar to this yep. but yep. i don't know I, I i people i know people think this is s tier like confirmed guaranteed s tier but i just don't think i would agree i think it's probably worse than the decimator in my eyes yeah i was gonna say worse than the blue phosphor maybe better than a decimator but even the price point is higher than the blue phosphor and i definitely would not pick it up facts all right yeah i wasn't even thinking about price either it it definitely i think it goes here especially because of that okay yeah we can do that okay all right this bro the hyper beast i like i don't care what people say bro this is an absolute classic when this first came out it was instantly my favorite skin in the game and probably every other person who played at the time like this is yep. such a good looking skin i think it's just guaranteed s yeah i think same top yeah. of top of s it's definitely one of the best m4 a1s's in the game it's so nice like there's nothing to hate yeah okay okay icarus fell dude this is a pretty clean one in my opinion i think it's sick that it's pattern based and you can get like the max sun patterns and i think it has a super yep. nice like teal blue color to it and it also has like the dark spots which makes it look super sick in contrast um yep. i would probably 
I don't know. I was going to say somewhere top of A, but now that I'm looking at it, maybe bottom S. No, nah, pro probably just like top of A area. I I think it's one of the best skins in the game as well. Just like the Hyper Beast, I would probably put this in S. And nowadays, I'd probably pick it up over the Hyper Beast. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Oh, yeah, true. I would probably pick it up over the Hyper Beast too. Damn. All right. But oh, I might have to use my veto on this later, bro. This is better than that, in my opinion. Okay. We'll oh. see. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, bro. Wait. This is called the Imminent Danger, right? Yep. Dude, this thing is so sick. And in CS2, the colors absolutely pop. It looks so good. I remember inspecting it like a week or two after I got CS2, uh, like the beta. And I thought this thing looked insane um th and there's so much going on on it which i know you're not always the biggest fan of but i know you are sometimes but for me yeah. i love when there's like a ton of like cool random artwork especially like graffiti stuff except for when it looks like the flashback but i'd pr yeah. probably put this into s myself yeah i think it's another s tier skin the price is definitely super high on it which shows because a lot of people love this skin and it's not easy to get mm -hmm. um i think it is an s tier skin it definitely has a lot of stuff going on which i'm not a huge huge fan of but for this skin it does look pretty clean so i'd still put it in s tier yeah fun fact also this is like one of the rarest skins in the entire game like there's such a low population of these yep uh where would you put i mm, i don't know that's tough i would probably put it I here I'd put it, I'd put it down one probably under the icarus damn you're a huge that's icarus my personal fan. yeah yeah yeah. that's fair that's fair okay i'm down um okay bro people are gonna absolutely hate me for this take the knight is so overrated the only reason that it's good is because it trades up to the dragon lore i don't like this yep. skin at all yeah i don't think it's a terrible skin it's pretty much an all black skin with a tiny bit of gold throughout the weapon um i still think it, overall it's a pretty clean skin i don't think it's an a or s tier skin but i think it's better than everything we have on the b list really i would literally put yep. it right here no i can't put it that far yeah i know i'm just saying i, I would i would put it i would pick up fizzy pop briefing and control panel before i picked up a knight obviously like it's worth more so i'd be like all right give me the knight if someone offered those four but just for looks hell no um all right maybe we go here then split difference yeah we can do that for now cool okay leaded glass this is a sick skin in my opinion i love the colors and this is like one of the first skins that had like pulled off the 3d effect well in my opinion um yep. so i like it for that reason uh i would probably put this at the top of b based on this list yeah i think it's a great entry point once again if you're starting off with cs2 it's i think in factory new the max price is like 17 18 bucks right now so it's still pretty cheap so i think for how it looks and the uniqueness of it i would definitely put it top of b i like that all right word okay masterpiece Kind of a sick skin uh, as it ages it gets worse in my opinion obviously like most most skins do but one of the first skins to pull off these bright colors well like i said before i love the graffiti style um personally it would probably go right above the leaded glass actually for me yeah i would say probably top of b bottom of a this is a super clean graffiti skin not a whole lot going on but it still has a bit of that extra other than like just a plain skin with nothing added to it so right. I'd probably even throw a bottom of A. Okay. I'll, I'll accept that, honestly. I like that. Okay. Mecha Industries. I used to think this was super clean. I still do think it's a clean skin, but when I look at it now, I just think every time this is the poor man's print stream. Print stream's yep. obviously cleaner. I'm sure we'll throw that super high soon, but I don't know. I, I mean, I still think it deserves be like mid, top mid of B area, maybe bottom of A, maybe if it's squeezing it out, but I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, I think looking at the list we have here, it's definitely top of B for what we have now. So I think for now we can put it top of B and maybe move it up to A if we throw too many things in B. Yeah, I'm down for that. Okay. Ooh, next up is the Moss Quartz. This picture here does not do it justice. I think this thing looks insane in CS2. I have one with some, I think 2018 G2 hollows on it, which are like bright green as well. It's like a 5X yeah. craft and it looks so, it's one of my favorite A1S skins that I own. Uh, in CS2, I would personally put this like, I would probably put this above the hot rod, I'm not gonna lie. 
Yeah, I don't know. I can't put it that high. Like, it looks clean, super simple skin. You know, it has a bit of detail when you actually use it in game and in CS2. But if you're scrolling through the Steam market and you see that, you're probably scrolling past it, especially when you see the price point. Um, yeah, true. It did. It did skyrocket in price with CS2. It skyrocketed. Yeah, and I think people scrolling past that on a Steam market, if they don't know the name of it and they just see that little icon of it, they're just going to think it's a plain green basic skin for the M4A1S. I agree, but I, would probably... I, think, I think if they inspect it in-game, though, they'll think to themselves, like, oh, this is like an M4A1S emerald, essentially. But from this icon, it looks like dog. Yeah, I would say... Where did you say you wanted it? In I a said somewhere? I would put it above Hot Rod. See, I don't even know. I, I'd probably put it under the Mecha Industries really okay 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 all right maybe we split here then or here well i guess yeah I'll we can go here. top uh bottom of a for now yeah okay okay <clears throat> okay next up is the mud spec this is one of the newest a1s's in the game second to newest uh after the black lotus i think um anubis collection i i don't like it i think it's cool that it gets darker and like an orangier brown color in battle scarred um, but yep. I think that's like the only redeeming quality about it. Otherwise, I would probably say bottom of D. Yeah, I think in battle scarred condition, it's maybe even bottom of B, top of C tier. Mm -hmm. um, but if we're just going general, the overall skin, and you have to factor in factory new and everything, then yeah, it's probably low C, top of D. Okay, okay. So maybe we just go like right here. We can go there. Cool. Okay. Night Terror. It's another one that looks way better in Battle Scar, in my opinion. It gets more purple, but that yep. being said, the skin is super ugly. I think the artwork's gross, and I, I don't know. I, I Every time I pick it up, I literally throw it away every time. Like, it, it just looks gross to me. I, I don't hate it. Out of all the skins we have in, you know, the bottom three tiers, I think it's better than a lot of them. Really? I would probably still put it in C tier near the bottom probably but i think it's better than everything in dnf that's fair okay okay oh uh, not gonna lie i would probably put it here so what do you want to go here or something maybe under the basilisk okay oh boom cool okay nightmare is another one that's sick um similar to the mecha industries though when i see this thing i think poor man's uh icarus fell so i don't know yep. it's less bright than the icarus fell but since you're such a big fan of the icarus fell i'm assuming you're probably going to want this in a i would also agree maybe i would probably put it i would probably put it right above the mecha industries personally i think actually yeah it might I, go I, higher for me dude i think it goes above the masterpiece yeah i'd put it in a for sure i personally would put it top of a damn above the golden coil sheesh yeah I think Golden Coil deserves to go down to B or back of A. That's an insane take. Okay, okay. So all those those three right behind it are all better than it. I just don't agree. I I'm like low key thinking that this is better than these three right now. But okay, okay. Um, so what should we just split and call it here, or I forget exactly where we said. Yeah, we can go with we can go with that for now okay is that like in the middle of what we were saying I don't, where did you say i said top of a i said do you want bottom I said right here okay then yeah it should go to forward yeah okay right there okay word <clears throat> nitro l skin l skin overall i think maybe right below the guardian for me uh i can't put it that low i'd probably put it c tier maybe above the dark water i think that is which is bottom of c so maybe one above that right here yeah that's where i'd throw it okay uh now that we're looking at it dude i don't know i think it's probably better than night terror even for me but yeah i think that's a fine spot okay okay um player two this is the first a1s that i picked up when i got got back into cs2 or into csgo like a year or two two years ago at this point um this is such a clean skin uh it's the classic style that i like there's a lot going on a little bit of a graffiti style uh, on the silencer up here a lot of bright colors um personally probably right here for me yeah i'm not a huge fan of graffiti skins but this is the m4a1s i use um yes, sir. i think it's i think it's super clean i would probably put it top of a 
Damn, okay. Okay, maybe we just go here then, split it. All right, print stream is a tough one because if, if this was the CSGO print stream, I would instantly throw it in S. Like, I mean, it's probably still gonna go into S for me either way, but it would probably go very top of S. Now though, the pearlescence is almost entirely gone, which was such a sick part about the skin. That being said yep. though, it is one of the cleanest and one of the only like all white and black skins on the A1S, which is necessary. It definitely looks better than the Mecha Industries in my opinion. So I would probably put it bottom of S. Yeah, I think it's super clean still, even without the pearlescent color to it. I th it's still an S tier for me. I'd probably put it above the Hyper Beast. Damn, okay. It would beat the Hyper Beast for you yep okay well it's one tick off i'm just throwing it bottom <laughs> okay all right <laughs> um hey when it's very camo i think this is called I, I mean bro that just goes there straight up yeah nothing to say about that one yeah that's, that's the worst skin bro <laughs> okay oh that's funny all right next up welcome to the jungle this is a sick skin also i didn't realize until somewhat recently that the more battle scarred it gets the more you see like a snake skin shedding pattern over the entire yep. thing which is so yep. sick i think that's such a good addition like a little easter egg um this probably goes i don't know this might go like ooh, it might go here for me yeah, I think I think this is the best skin in the game for the M4 UNS. Damn, okay. Yeah. I, I like it. it even in Battle Scarred, yeah, that scaly feature that it has when it goes into Battle Scarred is super clean, super cool. Um you know, not all of these skins on this list, you know, change in Battle Scarred and stuff like that. And I think that's like a bonus feature for some of these skins to make them rank a bit higher than they actually would be. Uh huh. Just because if you do get it in Battle Scarred, um, it still has a unique feature to it. Right. Yeah, no, I, I completely agree. Uh, looking at these three, I would definitely agree with you that it goes above the Icarus Fell, but I still think the Imminent Danger looks better than it. So maybe we just split it and put it right there. Hey. Um. No, honestly, I can't. I can't let Icarus Fell get number one. <laughs> I'm down to put it there. Okay. Um. Last up, and the newest M4A1S skin in the game is the Black Lotus. I instantly picked this up because I have a purple loadout. Literally, like a yep. few days after it came out, I got best condition. Star Trek Factory new. It's so clean. Um. I'm not gonna lie though. I did think it was way nicer when it came out versus now. Like it hasn't gotten too much worse in my head, but it, it has slowly degraded in my mind a bit. I'm not exactly sure why. I don't think it's as sick as like some of these guys up here, but I would probably put it above the blue phosphor. Yeah, I was gonna say it has a nice shine to it like the blue phosphor um, and the hot rod. And it's super, super, like able to be picked up by pretty much anyone that's starting off the price is not very high yeah it's accessible um, i think i think it's top of a okay yeah i like that i'm i'm definitely cool with that and the reason that i'm cool with that is because i'm gonna put this right here i can't i can't do that <laughs> you're canceling my veto yeah i'm gonna cancel your veto i'm gonna cancel your veto there's no way that is an s tier skin bro it's so nice though no uh, we'll see what the comments say we'll see is yeah, that an yeah, s tier yeah. or an a tier skin? drop a comment drop a comment right now what skin is better the icarus fell or the golden coil i want to know your opinions icarus all right fell for sure okay bro um all right so she should we just leave it here then or yeah leave I, it there then i guess we can put it there isn't that where it was or am i tripping i think the other i think it was down one okay 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 I, I can't remember okay either way pretty much the same thing i think that was a good tier list bro um yep damn looking at this knowing you don't have any vetoes left are there any changes you would make if we could redo it yeah move the golden coil down further <laughs> i'm dead that's funny i think i think the decimator i think the nightmare i think the blue phosphor and the hot rod are all better than it damn dude probably not the player two but everything else that i just named is better than it hmm I, yeah, I just don't, I don't agree, but shit, that's, that's what opinions are for. We just have our own taste. 
yeah that, i don't know hot take. i think the only change i would make is putting this even higher which is honestly a crazy take oh and i would put this lower this does not deserve to be up here oh and i would put this lower i i really hate this skin i don't know why it's just like such a turn off every time i see it but other than that, no, that what that first skin you said you'd move higher up in a i would take that out of a that's fair that's fair yeah all right well that was a banger video um Thanks for tuning in. Check out Claude's channel if you haven't and catch you in the next one. See you guys. If you enjoyed this video, YouTube thinks you'll like this one too. Oh yeah, and YouTube told me 75% of you aren't subscribed yet. So go thumb wrestle that subscribe button down below.